Household waste is anything we throw away because we don't need or want it anymore. Packaging, food scraps, computers and even cutleries will end up in landfills. The problem is our population is growing and consuming more products with more packaging. Do they realise the environmental impacts? Look at how much waste is going to the landfill on waste collection day. In 2011, Australians threw away 4.5 million tonnes of food scraps and used 6 billion plastic bags. That's nearly 300 bags per person. So where does this waste go? 52% of our waste is recycled. This is a sustainable approach as less items end up in landfills. 48% of our waste goes into landfills. These are huge holes dug into the ground where our rubbish is left to decompose. I'm going to try and experiment and recreate my own mini landfill. I'm going to see which of these items will decompose the quickest. I'll see you in six weeks to look at the results. So, only the vegetable and fruit scraps have decomposed in my mini landfill. All the other items, including the leaves, eggshells and paper, have stayed the same. Sadly, it seems that a large amount of our waste will take a long time to decompose in landfills. Landfills can be detrimental to the environment with risks of water contamination caused by leachate, a liquid produced when rain passes through the waste. There are also risks of air pollution and explosions as gases are created by organic decomposition. Landfills can be very noisy, smelly and attract pests that can spread diseases. Buying and managing landfills is very costly from paying for the land to the machinery and workers. But most importantly, with growing waste, space for landfill is becoming a problem. Where will our waste go when we can't find any more space? We need to reduce waste, so let's reduce our consumption. Only buy what you need. Reuse products by giving them to someone when you no longer need them. Thank you! Since this helps reduce greenhouse gas emissions produced in landfills, we should really buy recyclable products. Even better, buy in bulk or fresh to reduce packaging. By making a rubbish chart for a week, you can identify your waste habit. I realised how many food scraps we had, so we bought a compost bin. My food scraps are now food for these worms, which in turn produce natural fertiliser for my garden. My weekly rubbish has now halved. Come on, do something and stop contributing to Generation 